Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Dr. Bob, welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show. Hey, Valder, you've always been my favorite. Well, thank you so much. That makes my day. So now that we had our little love fest, let's get on with some great information for the listening audience. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about first-line therapy for uh, uh, pain, correct? That's correct. We are. There is a sea change in the treatment of pain. It's one of those once-a-century changes. And if there's one slogan or phrase for your guests to remember, it is think topicals first when it comes to any pain you can touch. Why is it so important for us to think about pain or pain management? Is it because we're aging? There's more of us who are older? Tell me that. <laughs> I hate to think that's true. Well, I guess it is. So, you know, the main <laughs> inference is this. Uh, these researchers reviewed the data from 13 million U.S. insurance claims. And here's what they found. It's out of McMaster University, which I love. Great research university. Let's say you or I went to the emergency room. We're at low risk for abusing opioids. But nonetheless, there's a 6% chance we'd continue with them. Now, if we're at high risk, there's a 27% chance that we would continue taking those opioids. So the impetus is that you want, of course, to decrease opioid usage. The other is that with anything you take by mouth, that's going to go into heart, brain, liver, lung, blood vessel, all over your body, and has the propensity for serious side effects. So as an example, you know, ibuprofen, according to the CDC, causes up to 15,500 deaths a year, and that would oral, and that would be heart attack, stroke, stomach bleeds, and whatnot. So it's incredibly important to really think safety first. And what's fantastic about these topicals is that they are safe, safe, safe. Now, let me get to the headline here. Uh, there are 300,000 doctors that are in the American College of Physicians and the American Academy of Family Physicians, and they strongly make these recommendations on good evidence. Clinicians should treat patients with acute pain from non-low back musculoskeletal injuries with topical non anti-inflammatory drugs. Big long word, but it basically means the ibuprofen methyl salicylate drugs that we're used to, with or without menthol gel as first-line therapy very first thought to reduce or relieve symptoms, including pain. And these researchers found that it worked best. These improved physical function, improved the patient's treatment satisfaction. And this guidance is the best possible local evidence uh, in terms of usage. So the recommendation is to move away uh, from managing pain with oral medications to first-line treatment as uh, oral. It's fantastic in terms of a balance of safety first with, uh, with efficacy. And a, a sea change, a tectonic change in the way that we, uh, we think of uh, treating pain. So what type of injuries is topical pain good for then since you're trying to shift our thinking? Because remember, we've been taking pills for what, since the 50s for anything that <laughs> we've hurts. We've been taking pills forever. Yeah, <laughs> probably since, since the 19th century, I think, for aspirin. So <laughs> specifically what they're talking about is acute musculoskeletal. Of course, by musculoskeletal, we mean, you know, muscle and joints and whatnot, non-low back. And this includes muscle strains and sprains, soft tissue injuries. Uh, and while not evaluated in this study, but many other very good studies, topical pain relievers can also be used uh, for joint pain. I have wear and tear arthritis, we all do as we get older. I have it in my knees, uh, right on the uh, kneecap, and, and it works quite well. Uh, so to be clear, they're recommending a topical NSAID, preferably with menthol. Okay, that sounds good. So my audience who needs to know more about topical pain, and remember, you're trying to shift people's thinking with this. I think it's a great idea. I like what you said about putting something in your mouth, huh, mouth how it affects everything, and that's what people have to realize. But putting something on the external, it's dealing with that area. So you're pretty smart, Dr. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Not as smart as you are, but you know, it's, a, it's wonderful. You know, I have advocated maybe for a decade of for topical first. And, you know, it's not a personal experience. I, I do this terrible seven-hour long, long race in the open ocean every, every, nearly every year. And I took five ibuprofen for it one year, and I was sick to my stomach all the way across. Terrible pain, rolled up in a small bowl, falling into the ocean. And the next year, I used a wonderful product, which is uh, Salon Paz Patch Large. I had someone put it on my back and on my knees. It, it got in and out of the water all the times so I fell, right? And worked all the way across constantly feeding medication uh, into those painful areas. So, you know, it works really well. And I just, you know, 
uh, as a as a physician who was trained in internal medicine, you know, I'm loath to give an older patient yet another oral medication. So I think the ability to treat these topically is fantastic. And you know, this is next generation medicine. Uh, you know, these salon pause products are made by a 170 plus year old Japanese pharmaceutical company. And that's important because, you know, in the Far East, they have pioneered topical pain management for over 2,000 years. So that's a lot of experience. That's a lot of experience. And so you have also. Where does my audience go once again online to get some more information before I let you go? So there's a wonderful website. It's salonpause.us, not .com, but salonpause.us. Lots of information, great illustrations, and uh, Velda, they'll find it uh, very helpful as they find you. Oh, Dr. Bob Arnott, thank you so very much. Please come back as you have such great information. It's been my well, pleasure you, to Valda. have you. All right, thanks again. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.